welcome to the Amanda Show. I'm here with J.D. Sollinger to discuss his famous book, The Catcher in the Rye. Hello, my name is J.D. Sollinger. So, J.D., tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born in New York in Jan on January 1st in 1919. So, where did you get the idea of this book? Well... I myself had issues with school and went to a university that I did not graduate at, but I did excel at one cl class, my fiction writing class, so that's kind of why I put Holden as doing better in English than he did in the rest of his classes. So tell me about this interesting character you're talking about, Holden Caulfield. Well, I wrote the book from Holden's point of view, and he has a younger brother that died when Holden was 13 from leukemia. He also has an older brother, a DB, that uh, writes books in Hollywood. And he has a younger sister who he has a very close relationship with. And she kind of calls him out on all of his immaturities and helps him. So how does the beginning of the book start out exactly? Well, it begins with Holden at Pinty Prep, and um, he kind of failed out of there. Uh, the only class he really passed was English, and that's what he did at Pinty Prep. Was there any other exciting events that happened at Pinty Prep when he was there? Well, he was friends with these two other males at the school, Ackley and Stratlater. He, um, befriended both of them. He made fun of Ackley for his uh, personal hygiene. And, and his other friend, Stradlater, um, did not get along with him very well because he was going on a date with one of his close friends, Jane Gallinger. And he also wrote a poor composition for Stradlater that night. And um, he kept calling him a moron and this kind of offended Stradlater. So he hit him and So you said he got kicked out of Pinty Prep, so where did he go? What happened after he got out of Pinty Prep exactly? After he leaves Pinty Prep, Holden checks into a hotel and um, he meets these three women and dances with them in this lavender room. And then he goes to another club because they don't hang out any longer. And on his way back, he goes up with this elevator boy who asked him if he wanted a prostitute for the night. After this commercial break, we'll see what happens with this interesting subject. Do you want to own a part of the classic book, The Catcher in the Rye? If so, purchase this red hunting hat for only $19.95, plus shipping and handling. And for a limited time... Hi, Mom. Hi. For, Hi. for a limited time only, whenever you order the hunting hat, you get a free copy of The Catcher in the Rye. Holden wore this hat in the book to show his individuality. Look at me! I'm an individual! Before the break, J.D. talked about how he got into some risky business with a prostitute. Well, Holden was going up to his room and he met this elevator boy who asked him if he wanted a prostitute. Holden agreed and a couple minutes later, this prostitute came up to Holden's room and when she entered, Holden decided that he did not want to do anything, and they just sat and talked. When she left, Holden was kind of upset because she asked him for another $5 that was not originally agreed on. So Holden seemed like a bad kid, but he must have not have been bad enough that he didn't want to do that with the prostitute. So he must have some morals. So did anything bad happen? after he didn't give him the five dollars he owed? Well, Maurice the elevator boy came up and beat Holden up and took his other five dollars that he supposedly owed them. Um, after that, Holden kind of just laid in his room and didn't go out for the rest of the night. So, with whenever he wanted to hire the prostitute and everything, does that mean that he was really lonely whenever he was away from Pinsy? Well, yeah, in a way, because 
because he just wanted to talk, really. He didn't really want to do anything. What did Holden's parents think of any of this? Did they know about it? Did they even care? Well, Holden's parents didn't know that he had been expelled from Pensy Prep, so he was kind of just roaming around before he had to come home for Christmas break. But um, while he was roaming around, he snuck into his house so he could come and talk to his sister Phoebe because he really likes her and wanted to speak with her. Did his parents end up catching him sneaking in, or did he actually sneak in without them knowing? Well, his parents weren't home when he snuck in. So when he got in, he went to his older brother's room, DB, because that's where his sister always slept. So he read through her journal, and he woke her up, and they talked, and his sister was kind of laughing and joking with him, and then she got upset at him because he kept cursing, and he had been expelled from Pensy Prep, and he just had bad behavior. What did he do after he talked to his sister? Well, after he talked to his sister, he snuck back out of his house and went to one of his old teacher's houses, Mr. Antolini. He talked to him, and Mr. Antolini was telling him how he had spoken to his father earlier in the week about how he was failing out of school. And so he spends the night there, and Mr. Antolini waits him because he was patting him on the head, and this freaks out Holden, so he leaves Mr. Antolini's house. After this commercial break, we're going to talk about the end of the book. You don't want to miss this. Have you ever been bored in the outfield? If so, buy a replica of Holden's brother Ollie's glove with poems written in it to read while you're in the outfield. Only fourteen ninety five with shipping in handling. Okay, we're back. Before we left, we talked about how Holden left Mr. Antolini's house. What happened after that, J.D.? Well, after Holden left Mr. Antolini's house, he went and the next day and went to his sister's school and left her a note saying that he wanted her to meet him at the museum because he was going to leave New York and start a new life out west. How did his little sister Phoebe react to this? Well, Phoebe wants to go with him, and he says no, and this upsets her. So they wind up going to the zoo, and this is where Holden buys her a carousel ticket, and while she is on the carousel, he finally gets a feeling of happiness that he hasn't really had ever since his brother died. Um, so what happens after this, like, later in his life? Well, Holden gets sick because he's been outside so much and hasn't had much rest. So he gets tuberculosis and has to go to a rest home. And he's kind of waiting there until he can get better and go back to school. Okay, is there anybody in the audience that has any questions? Yes, um, it seems that Holden was a very bad kid. Do you have any other bad habits that contribute to his sickness? And one of the poor qualities of Holden is... He was a smoker and a drinker, which also led to his tuberculosis. Do we have any questions from the audience? Me, 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 me. Okay. Um, what is the meaning of the title from the book? Oh. Uh, the meaning of the title, The Catcher in the Rye, is because it is one of Holden's favorite poems in the book. And he wants to catch children before they fall off the edge of a cliff as they're playing in a field of rye and it symbolizes them losing their innocence and growing up and becoming adults. Thank you everyone for being here today and thank you JD for telling us a little bit about your book.